there guys, my name is Coast Shadow Stopon, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news update where today we're gonna be looking at some news on two brand new rides opening in 2021. Now we don't know the locations of these two new rides. However, we were talking about what specifically they are. Now there's an official press release from the Indiana Beach themselves, and I'm gonna share that in this video. Uh, so before we get started guys, make sure you like the video if you've loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, make sure you subscribe to the channel, we are getting closer and closer to two thousand subscribers and also we are halfway or just over halfway should we say to one million views which is brilliant one million couldn't believe it um we're gonna be launching a lot of brand new content over in the new year trust me you are not gonna want to miss this a lot of different videos a lot of different content it's all going to be coming and it's all going to be amazing and of course next year is going to be an even bigger year for the channel which is going to be a fantastic surprise for you guys uh, but for now guys let's have a look at all the details surrounding this brand new news that's come out tonight from Indiana Beach about 2021 two classic attractions one that's coming and a flat ride that's a real throwback to the past so let's have a look at the details from the Indiana Beach statement that confirms what's coming to the park next year so the source is Indiana Beach and here is the statement as follows. So this is for immediate release. Indiana Beach announces two new rides for 2021 season. So that's the title. <laughs> um, today, Indiana Beach Amusement Park announces plans to add two new rides for their 2021 season. With a nod to the park's nostalgia, the boardwalk will welcome the Polyp Ride. Of course, that's the octopus, the classic octopus, or the Schwarzkopf Monster 2 type. Um, the Polyp has five arms with four cars attached to each arm. The arm will move up and down as the ride goes in a circular motion. The ride is presently at Indiana Beach and is in the process of being restored to its original glory and will be an amazing addition of Maricana to our park, according to park representatives. Now... The ride originated at Kiddyland Park in Melrose Park, Illinois, the home amusement park for new owner Gene Staples. The second ride will be the park's sixth roller coaster, a triple loop coaster designed and manufactured by Anton Schwarzkopf. The ride will be completely reconditioned and installed in time for the summer of 2021. The triple loop steel sit-down coaster is the perfect fit to accompany our existing lineup of amazing coasters, said owner Gene Staples. As we head into the off season, we are continuously looking to ways to improve our guest experience, one important way is through the addition of new rides and attractions, and we feel both of these rides as a great fit and complement to our existing lineup. The park will open for its 95th season in May 2021. Season passes are on sale now at the website. Um, and for additional information, you can contact Tom Chrissy, COO at Indiana Beach. And the email is tchrissy, spell C-R-I-S-C-I, at indianabeach.com. Uh, and you'll be sure I'll be getting in contact with him about these amazing new additions. And one particular coaster, the, the one of the additions out of the two, the coaster, might uh, might ring some alarm bells in terms of the type of coaster. So there we go, that is Indiana Beach's two brand new rides for 2021. There's no confirmation on the location of both rides. The Polyp, of course, will be built on the boardwalk, so it's not specific in terms of where on the boardwalk, but Polyp will be built on the boardwalk. Now, the coaster, it might ring some alarm bells because over the last couple of years, there's been a bit of a saga what is the future of the Chimera roller coaster? And we know straight away it was being dismantled, but we knew that it wasn't going to be removed. We knew they tried everything they could to save the ride. Once the park had closed after the unfortunate accident on the ride, um, just a year or two ago, and they wanted to keep the ride as much as possible. They wanted to save it as much as possible. And now it's looking likely from the press release and matching the dots and connecting the dots together that the Chimera will be redeveloped, revamped and relocated to Indiana Beach for next season, in, starting in the summer and beyond. And it's incredible news. It's a classic looping roller coaster and it's great that it's being saved. It's great that it's been reconditioned and then relocated to Indiana Beach for next season. 
Um, so big, big news coming out of Indiana Beach there. Massive news. The Polyp Ride, the, the classic octopus flat ride. Uh, it's a classic attraction at the theme parks. I'm glad they're bringing the nostalgia factor with their brand new additions. And again, looking there at the, Cam the relocated Chimera roller coaster um, coming to Indiana Beach in the summer of 2021. Now, whether it be called Chimera or not is, you know, easy to be seen at the minute. Uh, it's a broad, broad guess. But you can bet your lucky backside that people will be down there visiting the park, visiting the brand new coaster, and it's just going to be so exciting. It's like it's like waking up, eating a bowl of cereal, and then finding out there's millions and millions of pounds located in that box of cereal. It's like the most exciting feeling you could ever think about, especially for the nostalgia coaster enthusiasts. Um, so this is a good piece of news from Indiana Beach, a nice nostalgic new addition for next year. And uh, Indiana Beach, since they've been taken over, has really gone up and up and up. And hopefully, they're going to continue to do that. So, um, before we before we go, before we end the video, I did share with you a couple of location predictions. Uh, so, on your screen now, uh, find out it is location one. Now, that is opposite the Steel Hog roller coaster, the SNS L Loco. And um, location number two on your screen now. Van Dabby Dozy um, is actually um, sort of got a water slide behind it, or the end of a water slide behind it. So, either location has been talked about in forums and things like that, and I sort of wants to, you know, it, it can fit, it can fit on the site, on either site. And, um, you know, it would be nice to see both locations possibly being used in the future. Maybe one gets used for this and another one, say, for another edition. Um, but yes, it should be interesting. So, thank you very, very much, guys, for watching this news update on Indiana Beach. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, cut the case bell so you never miss a YouTube video. I'm going to watch the end of I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep living the coast of life. See you later, guys. Have a fantastic day.